Hey guys, this is Foolish Mortal 42 back with some more Diablo 2 Resurrected, and we are in Act 4, Normal Difficulty. Ooh. And we just got uh, a really, really good drop with that uh, Am Rune, uh, so we can now make the Edge Rune Word Bow, uh, and it actually will help us out quite a bit since we have. Stealth, which is faster, 25% faster unlock, and Sanders Riprap, which is 40% faster unlock. Uh, so we can switch out for the Edge Bow, uh, which is actually going to give us 35% increased attack speed. And with our sweet drops from Diablo, we're going to be at 45% attack speed, which is really nice. Um, so what we need to do. There's a couple of things that we can do. <clears throat> we can just go out and keep killing stuff and hopefully find a three socket bow. <clears throat> but the best thing we can do is go back to the rogue encampment. <clears throat> Sorry if my throat is a little hoarse. I just got off work. And uh, <clears throat> yeah. Um, like I said, I, I had gotten a new job. I actually work at a dialysis clinic during the day. Uh, and uh, me getting used to day shift has not been really great. Um, so we can just get another hunter's bow because we're not really concerned with... Um, uh, we're not really concerned with base damage. We're just wanting some sweet, sweet sockets. And that is a short bow, three sockets. But I really want a hunter's bow or a composite bow. Um, I guess we could go to Luke Go Lane. <clears throat> Sometimes Elzix will have some, <clears throat> who is a the gambler vendor in uh, Luke Golane. He's up by Gray's. <laughs> Hello. Uh, but he usually doesn't have. Well, make a liar out of me. Uh, ooh, three socketed. Yeah. He's actually really easy to shop from. I'm not going to do this very much. Not fast enough. Welcome to the desert rain. Yeah, I don't think a vendor will ever sell a four socketed item. Unless you're in like later difficulties, but I could be wrong. I mean, yeah, a superior three socketed composite bow would be really nice. <clears throat> I'm just gonna do this a few more times. Welcome to the desert rain. Uh, I'm gonna go on and buy. The Don't have enough free spots. Just on the off chance, I just kind of want to compare them. All right. <clears throat> Two to six and four to eight. It's not that big of a difference, honestly. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> But yeah, new job. It's uh, very hard work, uh, but it is day shift, and it's 10-hour shifts instead of 12-hour shifts, and it's only 20 minutes from home instead of an hour and 15 minutes. Uh, so it's uh, pretty nice. Let me double check my dear towel. Am. Oh. Dear. 
Ow. Damn, and we have the Edge Hunter's Bow. And it is sweet. Very sweet for our middle of the road. Um, kind of like mid-levels. <clears throat> it gives us a fifth, level 15 Thorns Aura. So our decoy, our um, mercenary, and then when we get to level 30, our Valkyrie will actually have a level 15 Thorns Aura, which is like... I'm wanting to say maybe 600% damage return. So basically we can throw that decoy way up in front of us. It's going to take two or three hits and whatever's hitting it is going to get hammered. 35% um, increased attack speed. That's going to be pretty sweet. 300% um, damage to demon, but now that's just the two to six. So it's not a huge amount. Um, poison over five seconds. It's added damage. It's not bad. Some life stolen, but again, that's only the main damage on the weapon. Nine to all attributes, which is almost max because it's like five to ten, so that was good. Mana after each kill, which is really good. And prices reduced from vendors. There's only one other item that actually has that mod in the entire game. So what we're going to do is... Um, <clears throat> Alright, watch. Yeah, noticeably quicker. <laughs> shield which could be worth some money but all right that's uh i'm super excited we got that nice bow um i am gonna keep it though for reasons yeah i even got some more stuff out here uh oh wow was that a If I find another ort, I can make a soul. But I need an ort. <clears throat> Alright, so. What we, re what we really need now. Oh no, I just realized what I've done. All right, we're just gonna truck it across uh, the frigid islands. <clears throat> so we've got a two socketed helm in our inventory. go into uh, Abaddon and I'll show that to you. <clears throat> but like I said, these these little areas, they are perfectly optional. Wow, they <laughs> look really cool though. Those guys are bad news.
So we need a... Um... What, a two-socketed... Or three-socketed armor. And a four-socketed... Um... Type. <laughs> Holy cow, they killed... Oh, it's a... Fire enchanted. Of course it's fire enchanted. Ooh. <clears throat> so if you're kind of struggling, um... Um, like getting past like um, a certain area, you can come back to these little um, kind of mini dungeons and um, kind of uh, get some gear, get some levels. Wow, how did they get out there? Weird. Is there seriously not? chest in here? Oh, wait, here it is. Oh! I mean, that's like, um, it, she just killed those guys. <laughs> I mean, if that doesn't just tickle you to death, I don't know what that is. junk. Yeah, sometimes they pay off, sometimes they don't. And then we will get these next three. It's 27. Uh, do we get Valkyrie first or Freezing Arrow? Well, that was a waste of, what, 10 minutes? Good evening. There is a matter which I hesitate to share, but I believe you are the only one who can help me now. Anya, the young alchemist and daughter to one of our slain elders, has been missing for some time. Mm -hmm. She is a strong, crafty woman, with a spirit like no other. One night, just before your arrival, I overheard her and Nilathak arguing about her father's death. The next morning, she was gone. Nilathak has his own tale as to where she went and why. Don't believe him. I fear he's at the root of her disappearance. Mm. 
Please, if you can, search for Anya and bring her back to us. She'll know what to do about Nilathor. Crystalline Passage. What? Anya? Who have you been talking to? Likely it was that meddling Mala. Well, I'll tell you what really happened. Anya came to me for guidance after receiving a vision that her mother and younger brother were trapped in the lands beyond the ice caves. She had decided to go rescue them. I told her that her quest was a foolish one, and that she would be safer staying within the city walls. However, she is a willful girl and would not listen to me. The next morning she was gone. No one is more distraught than I over losing her. However, if you feel the need to be Mala's errand child, I'll try to stop you. Hmm. I totally believe Nila back. I mean, obviously, black, white, you know. <clears throat> he seems very helpful. Evening. All right, so we'll run back out. Like I said, sometimes those, uh... Those little side runs like that can be really worth it. Uh, unfortunately, we got shafted. Well, I can't say we got completely shafted. I mean, we did get a level, so... And then back out into uh, the frigid island. Everything that's gray, I'm going to be, like, scoping out. Alright, and now we're back. I could find that corpse again. I could uh, test my luck. And then... Uh, pit to Acheron. Yeah, we won't be going down there.
we're just gonna kind of whip through this area pretty fast. Well, I say pretty fast, but uh, it's not looking super fast. Can I just say the reflections? Seriously? Uh, this company has absolutely blown me away. an arbalist that's an exceptional crossbow you can see it does quite a bit more damage than regular bows I mean, I can take these rune drops. I mean, yeah, I would like to have a, a really nice uh, a charm or a, something like that. But... I need more. Get her. <laughs> Uh, that I never gets old. It. Okay, Maiden Spear. Yeah. So he can't use those, but... I am like these, um... Amazon-only things, like there's like Maiden Spears, Maiden Javelins, uh, Maiden Bow, uh, and then all the way up to Matriarchal bow Bows, and, uh, something else, but, uh... Matriarchal... Matriarchal... Bow has the same attack speed as these so if you ever did want to do like an edge into like something like that and you get extra bow and crossbow skills it's pretty nice are you i just i can't oh a shale yeah we need two shales so yeah that's uh flipping fantastic uh Yeah, and those uh, shrunken heads, if they've got like plus to skills on them, they're definitely worth saving. Those are necromancer only, of course. Uh... So I think it was one of my subscribers um, that said she did not know what was going on. And I don't know if she meant like she didn't know what was going on in the game, like the story or the um, concept of the gameplay. So the story is kind of complex, <laughs> but it's kind of like World of Warcraft, it's, man, this, music was just a little bit loud, there we go. Um, it's just got a lot going on. Um, I've let Kane kind of explain most of that. Um, 
basically war between heaven and hell, prime evils have escaped, blah 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 blah. But the, uh, the gameplay itself is kill monsters, get loot, so that you can kill tougher monsters, and get better loot, and then so on. It is action RPG elegance, basically. Um, I mean, Diablo 1, the original one, kind of got it started, but um, this game really not only protect, perfected it, um, Um, but it also Good kind of, oh wow, that was not as much as I was expecting. <clears throat> but, um, but yeah, I mean, it's just a very simple, um, Gameplay loop. Um, yeah, I don't think he is going to ever sell something that's not magical. <clears throat> I can't believe that. Uh, shell code nav. Um... Alright, the Crystalline Passage. <clears throat> so there is a waypoint in here that we're going to tr try and find. And then there is, I think, two caves. As you can see, I don't use very many health potions, and that is uh, definitely <laughs> a good thing, uh, because this character and the build that I'm going with, the only thing that is saving her is a massive health pool. Um, and just being able to absolutely obliterate stuff. Yeah, but even just like regular bow damage, like, she's not doing bad. I mean, even with like a really low level bow, that just goes to show you how good those rune words are.
Oh, tough. So when I get to level 30, <clears throat> which is going to be very short, uh, uh, I've got three things that I'm going to have to get. Whoops. Um... I love this character. So, <clears throat> wow, he he killed himself on me. <laughs> That's crazy. But uh, as I was saying, um, freezing arrow or. Well, we need Pierce. Well, you know, we might need to get Pierce first. Um, we're going to get three skill points. You know, I might just save them. I might just, you know, I might, I might save them and then get all... Or get uh, Pierce and Valkyrie at uh, level 30. Valkyrie is really... I, I think the Valkyrie is very well worth the trip down that uh, skill tree. Especially when you're using the edge bow. Alright, so here is um, Anya's uh, little dungeon. see if that's going to sell for anything. I don't think those sell for very much. I love it. I absolutely flippin' love it. At your service. Okay, so that was worth it. Oh wow, that was worth a trip back too. Wow, that's, 
It's not bad. Not not real bad. We need another towel rune. Um, Growl till town. I just need a soul for insight. Um, which, if we had a couple more ort runes, we could make uh, a soul, but. So these, uh, wow. I am overburdened. I am overburdened. Oh, you're not that. I like to clear this one out because there's usually at least two bosses in here. Well, there is one boss for sure because it's a named super elite. Um, and then we've killed the other one already. I mean, honestly, does that get any better? <laughs> More axe. We won't need that. Oops. You know, an edge bow would be really fun on a um, a summoner, an necromancer. That would be hilarious. Oop, here we are. So this is uh, Frozen Stein. He 
He's always down here, uh, and he's always got a pretty good sized pack of them. Nilathok was behind Anya's disappearance when he trapped her with a freezing curse. Here, take this potion to Anya and give it to her. That should release her. Hmm. I mean, I don't know why we can't click on that, but all right. Alright, so we're gonna get two rewards, one from Mala, so much for bringing Anya back which to us. is very I important. I have devised this spell to increase your resistances as a token of my thanks. I know it isn't much, but I hope you find it helpful. Please, go talk to Anya. She has urgent news concerning Nilathok. Not in town. All right. Talk to Anya. Good evening. You have proven yourself a true hero to me and my people. These are dark times, warrior. I hope you can bring an end to Bale's reign of destruction. Our council of elders is gone. My father asked among them. The one thing that keeps us from total despair is the promise of vengeance against Bale. I'm trying my best. Thank you, hero, for rescuing me. To show my personal gratitude, I give you this. I had it custom made for you by Larzak. Nilathok <laughs> told me he struck a deal with Bale to protect Haraga. In exchange for the demon's mercy, the misguided fool plans to give Bale the relic of the ancients, our most holy totem. Doing so will allow Bale to enter Mount Ariat unchallenged by the ancients. I tried to stop Nilathak, but he imprisoned me in that icy tomb. Nilathak must be stopped before he dooms the whole world. As much as I would love to strangle the life out of him, I'm afraid I haven't the strength. You must go to his lair through this portal I've opened, kill him, and then bring back the relic of the ancients. Stop Nilathak from destroying what we have striven for eons to protect. So she can just open a portal. Can I help you? All right, let's see what she gave us. Something we cannot use. <laughs> she always gives you a rare something specific for your class so if you're playing a paladin she'll give you a paladin shield if you're playing um you know a, a necromancer she'll give you uh, a rare shrunken head you know stuff like that um but she will also trade in oh uh, well well she traded in bows can we literally not buy bows in um Wow. And still no charms. I don't I don't get it. What have I done? Hmm. Um yeah, I think I think what I'm gonna do So we're twenty eight. Yeah, let's just hold on to our um, skill points for a little bit. Yeah. 
evening. He sells bows. I just forgot. All right. <clears throat> so, why is doing Anya the quest to get Anya so important for a scroll of resistance? Once you get into Nightmare and Hell, all of your resistances are going to be reduced 30 by 30 in Nightmare and by another 30 once you go into Hell mode. So, and this is where you're really going to be hurting because our defense is not ever going to be anything because we, we're not going to wear any heavy armor, more than likely. So, our big issue is going to be spells, you know, ranged attacks, stuff like that. So, we're, you know, um, so these are going to drop significantly. And then the Scroll of Resistance gives us an added 10%. So we're going to get 10 now, 10 in Nightmare, and another 10 in Hell Mode. <clears throat> but now Hell Mode's going to... Oh, wow, advanced stats. Nice. Um, <clears throat> so that is going to be really important in the long run. Um... Because I am going to try my absolute best to go all the way to heck and back. <laughs> Alright, uh, and then our ongoing quest to find a charm of something useful. <laughs> Uh, so we've got a good amount of uh, cash built up, but I'm going to go on and call that an episode. And when we come back, we will be going uh, because we can go into Nelothok's temple. And there is a boss in there that we can farm over and over again called Pendleskin. And he is pretty nice for not only experience, but item drops as well. So now that we've kind of progressed into this part of the game we can farm Pendleskin and uh, at least the uh, whatever the name is at the beginning of whatever. <laughs> um, so basically you start a new game, you pop here, go to Frigid Highlands, uh, come back, hop in here, kill Pendleskin, and then you're done. And both of them have pretty good loot. But like I said, I'm going to go on and call that an episode. And I hope you guys will join me. And in the next episode, probably on to the Ancients. So, uh, unless we decide to kill Ningleth. Good to see you. Morning. Uh, I don't think anybody actually gives us the quest to kill the Ancients. Until we kill Neelothuk, but you actually can just keep <clears throat> keep right on going. So I will see you guys in the next episode. And as always, hit like and subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.